Can you please give your name and address for the record, please? Good evening. My name is Jennifer Harding. I am the president of the Progressive Social Network, and I live in District 7. Um, so a year ago, uh, representatives from our organization began sitting down with council members uh, to just sort of talk about how we could come together and create some sort of policy change that would create protections against discrimination for all of the citizens in our city. Um, you are all elected here to represent all of the citizens of Baton Rouge, whether or not you agree with who they love or what they look like, what the color of their skin is, what the color of their hair is, what, where they sleep at night. You're responsible for making, for, for protecting all citizens. And I hope that we can all agree that discrimination is always wrong. It's always wrong. It's always wrong. Um, so we went down the road on this journey and it has been a journey with all of you. Uh, having countless conversations, spending lots of time hammering out particular language for an ordinance, um, meeting with every single one of you that would meet with us. Um, we've talked to members of the public, we've talked to members in the business community, we've talked to members in the faith community, and what we found out is that Baton Rouge wants this to happen. Baton Rouge really wants this to happen. Um, frankly, after all the work that we'd done, we, with you all, most of you, several of you, um, we were pretty blindsided when we saw this resolution. Um, it is surprising to see something, you know, get so close to being there that could actually have true, real impacts on the lives of Baton Rouge people to actually provide protections against discrimination and then see something come up that does nothing, it does nothing to improve the conditions for the citizens of Baton Rouge. Um, you know, I'm so happy to hear that some people haven't experienced discrimination. But I know it's real. I think you all know it's real and it's wrong and you have the ability to do something about it. You have the ability to protect people. Last week you were provided with the draft of an ordinance that will do that. I am so happy that you were pulling this resolution because it is terrible and does nothing. And all we're asking for you to do is take your responsibility seriously, stand with the citizens of Baton Rouge, and do something by putting an ordinance up that creates protections for all citizens of Baton Rouge and makes this a place, a welcoming place, an equitable place, a fair place, a place of progress. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, the public hearing, we'll speak on item 79. CNN public hearings closed.